this is toxic Hi there, and welcome to a new Plugin Guru video. My name is John Limkul, and I'm here to introduce you to my new patch library, uh, Toxic FM8 for Native Instruments FM8. It is a library of aggressive, in-your-face, inspired by some of the big artists in dubstep and aggressive dance music today. Instead of making these sounds that require a whole bunch of outside processing and automation, I spent the last four months um, exploring and developing a system that just requires the modulation wheel to take sounds from using the mod wheel you can so I'm going to give you a quick tour here of this library here it is um, there's a ton of bases there's I think 29 bases 28 leads And one of the cool things with this library is right here, the morph pad. Every patch of the 70 patches, there's actually 71, but the first one is an optimized initialized patch. And we talk about that in the tutorial. Yeah, besides the patches, there's a one hour video where I teach you how to make these types of patches. So make sure you uh, keep your ears picked. No, but the thing that's cool is the morph pad allows you to go from four different corners. One, two, three, four. Each corner, if we're over here on the page where we see the algorithm, it can be completely different configuration, different pitches, different offsets, different waveforms, all sorts of parameters in the filtering. You can route things to the filter, not route them to the filter. This whole configuration can be changed. So this sound can go from this. You can automate that and it's just so kick butt to do that. So the other thing that's cool is the morph pad has all these points in between. So you can sequence that motion and automate it and program the crap out of it until it does exactly what you want it to do for a growl or something. It's really fun, really fun. Uh, in the tutorial, we made this patch. So we show you how to do that and how to turn it into a wobble. There's uh, things like a... And if you go over here to the mod page, here's your sync so you can Here's one of my favorites, Laser Writer. Uh, head on collisions for the Noises. Huge leads. Now let me, as, as for fun, this is the factory patches from FM8. Here's where we're coming from. These are the factory base patches. That's a factory base patch. So whereas I was doing more things like a stuff like that. Lots of lead sounds. Filthy Both is cool for here's a straight. Pitch bin can go radical, so you can. So the, 
the world of whatever you want to do. Same patch with wobble. Uh, short. That's pitchy. So you could set these on four different tracks and then use those in conjunction with each other uh, to do all sorts of cool things. Uh, there's some really cool synth pads. Now let me call this up and probably, yeah, it's eight voices. It's four voice unison. So you got to crank this up so that you can... Uh, I swear, there's no sounds like this for FM8 anywhere. So, um, that cool. This simulates the kick drum pulse for a, a compressor. And then again, there's four variations of this patch. All right, I'm going to play a quick demo song real quick, and then we'll look at a couple of the patches from this demo song. Let me hide the mixer. So here we go. This is one of the songs. This is using 15 FM8s. Here we go. This is toxic. All right, so that's using F, uh, 15 FM8s. As you can see from the mixer page, um, there's like minimal effects going on. There's a couple of EQs. Everything else is FM8s just making the sounds. So let me show you the sounds real quick that I used. Um, I also want to point out, when you save songs with FM8 and you call them back, a lot of times the songs will have sine wave init patches where it's supposed to be your patch. Like for this one here, every time I load it, the bass sign is initialized and uh, the lead Air Force patch. Those two patches are sine waves every time I call up the song. And then I have to go find them and reload them. So make sure you name over here on your tracks. Make sure you name right here what the name of the program is you're using. And if you edit a program, make sure you save it. And we cover how to do all that stuff in the video tutorial. So um, we will be doing, I'm going to be doing a number of other supportive videos for this library on YouTube, and they'll be on the Plugin Guru channel too uh, for cool effects. You guys should know about multiband distortion. Uh, there's some cool other plugins that can really give you some cool attitude. Um, some are free. So lots to talk about. But anyway, the library is out, and I hope you like it, and I hope you go buy it. Thank you for your support, and we'll see you in the next video very soon.